Hey everyone, this is Gene from Mahalo.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the metadata settings that will be on your images in the PhotoGene app on your Apple iPad. Metadata is any information that is saved in your image file, but is not part of the image itself. You may have seen something similar in your favorite music software. When a program such as iTunes pulls up a song to play, it also lists the band, the album, the genre, and possibly other information such as the year that the album was released, or even the members of the band. All of this information is metadata, and it comes attached to the file without interfering with the music. Photogene allows you to specify this data on each image that you produce. First, let's open an image in Photogene. Then in the top right-hand corner of the screen, you'll find the metadata option. Tap this to bring up its menu. At the top of the menu, you'll see three tabs, General, EXIF, and IPTC. The General tab holds all of the description information about your image. This information cannot be changed since it simply tells a computer how to treat this file. Here you'll find the color model that this image uses, in this case it's RGB, the DPI, or dots per inch of your photo, the bit depth, which in this case is 8, and you'll also see the file size, the orientation, and the dimensions of your image. The next tab, labeled EXIF, which stands for Exchangeable Image File Format, and it's used by digital cameras and scanners. The General tab is all of the information about your image for computers, and EXIF is that same information formatted for cameras. The final tab, IPTC, is all of your personal information. IPTC stands for International Press Telecommunications Council. This is a London-based consortium made up of most of the world's major news agencies. In the late 1970s, they compiled a list of attributes that can be applied to media of various types for identification. They've refined it over the years to its current form, which you see here. If you scroll down the list, you're going to notice author, title, caption, date created, and many others. Each one of these fields can be filled in by tapping any of the headings and filling in the data. Unless you're a professional, you don't really need to fill out any of these fields, though it can be extremely useful in helping you recall information about your photos many years from now. For example, this particular image I shot during a scuba diving trip in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Right now, the trip is fresh in my mind, but years from now, when I can't remember which scuba trip this photo is from, I can simply check the metadata and let the memories flow in. If you scroll down to the bottom of the menu, there's an option to Edit Defaults. This is useful if you're editing a group of photos that have several bits of information in common. For example, if you are only ever editing shots that you take yourself, then you may want to add your own name to the default so that it will always appear on your photos. Remember to experiment with all of these options because exploring is one of the best ways to learn about a new app. Please comment, rate, and subscribe below and email any requests you may have to requests at mahalo.com. Thanks for watching.